What's up guys, Chris here from Anabolic Men, and today I want to talk to you about uh, a tried and true, awesome supplement, uh, just very simple supplement, creatine monohydrate. In a world of uh, scammy supplement companies, and the, especially the fitness and bodybuilding supplement space, uh, it can be kind of hard to tell what works and what doesn't, and a lot of people just say, you know, across the board they say, oh, supplements don't work, uh, which for the most part, in, for to, to get a good physique, you don't really have to, to take a lot of those fitness supplements like fat burners and, and uh, pre-workout drinks and that sort of thing. Protein powder especially you don't need. Uh, but one uh, that has been extensively studied, this, this is one of the most researched uh, compounds I've ever seen in humans. Uh, it's creatine monohydrate. Creatine is something that I think every guy should take uh, and in this video, we're going to explain why. Now, what creatine does is it increases the amount of ATP inside your cells. So what that does is increase the energy output. So creatine itself has more than 70 peer-reviewed studies showing increase in strength in humans. There are eight human studies showing an increase in uh, cellular hydration, which I think is why uh, a lot of people feel like they, they retain a bit more water when they take creatine. There are 10 human studies that show creatine increasing uh, mass gain. And there are four creatine human studies that show uh, it decreasing physical fatigue. So while most bodybuilding supplements are a complete waste of your time, uh, I highly recommend using creatine monohydrate. Now, do you need to go get a fancy form of creatine uh, like all the, you know, the, the fancy marketing and everything? No, you don't really. Just creatine monohydrate has been shown to uh, give all the right benefits uh, in the studies, and it's actually been shown to be more effective than a lot of the, uh, the more expensive and fancy named alternatives to creatine, uh, like crealkaline. So um, I definitely recommend just a simple creatine monohydrate. This one's Gero Formulas, it's a really good one. Uh, one bottle of this will last you forever, and it's generally very inexpensive, so you get a lot of bang for your buck. So now to, to this point in the video, we've talked about uh, the benefits for you know, strength output, cellular hydration, and uh, just you know, more physical fitness, bodybuilding oriented uh, benefits for creatine. But there's another benefit that I think all the anabolic men community is gonna be extremely interested in, and that is for testosterone and DHT. Creatine supplementation increases your testosterone levels while also increasing the conversion to DHT which is a stronger androgen. Let's look at some studies and see what the researchers found in relation with, with creatine and androgen levels. Now this study examined if creatine would have any positive effects on the skill execution abilities of people who are sleep deprived. On the, on the side that they found out, they found out that creatine actually significantly increased salivary testosterone levels in the subjects. Now, this study conducted in 2009 showed that after a seven day loading phase of creatine, followed by a further 14 days of creatine maintenance supplementation. While serum testosterone levels didn't significantly fluctuate, the levels of more bioactive androgen uh, dihydrotestosterone, DHT, increased by 56% after the initial seven days of creatine loading and remained 40% above the baseline after 14 days of maintenance. That's pretty good. So the, the ratio of DHT to testosterone therefore increased by 36% after the seven day creatine uh, loading phase and remained elevated by 22% after the maintenance dose. It's pretty good. Now this study showed a bunch of college athletes during a 10 week exercise program. Now the athletes were divided into three groups. One group received a placebo, one group received creatine, and the third group re received a mix of creatine and beta alanine. Now the results show that in the creatine group, testosterone levels and power output increased significantly. In this study, there were 17 men who were doing some serious short-term overtraining in the gym. Now, they were divided into two groups. The first one got 0.3 grams of creatine per kilogram body weight, and the second group received a placebo. The results showed that during overtraining, the creatine group was able to preserve their power output much better than the placebo group, and the creatine group had continuously higher total and free testosterone levels throughout the study when compared to the placebo group. Now, the researchers in this short-term study con conducted on swimmers saw that creatine supplementation was able to increase the swimming speed of a 50-meter sprint by 4.6%, which is huge in swimming, 
and testosterone levels by at least 15% when compared to a placebo. Now, this study examined the long-term safety effects of creatine. Athletes who had ingested creatine for up to four years were found to have no adverse health effects, but tend to increase testosterone levels, uh, and that was, that was noted from, from the study as well. Now, in this study, 20 resistance-trained males took either four uh, times five grams of creatine per day, so 20 grams of creatine per day, or the same amount of dextrose, which was used as a placebo. Now, their hormones were then examined daily for a week, whilst the subjects trained on days three, five, and seven. After the seven-day loading phase of creatine or the placebo, the results showed that when compared to placebo, the creatine group had 17% higher testosterone and 13% lower cortisol levels, which is awesome. And that is just seven days of loading creatine. So a lot of you are probably wondering uh, how often or how should you take creatine? What's the best way to supplement with it? Because a lot of these studies actually show a loading phase. So the loading phase, in the, in the loading phase, it's recommended that you take around 20 grams of creatine per day. And that can be split up into doses like the, they did in the last study where they talked about uh, doing it four times a day at five grams, or you could just put it all in, in one lump sum. Uh, you don't have to do this, but to get uh, some of these effects that were in the studies, this is what they did in the study. So there's a loading phase of seven days if you take 20 grams of creatine for seven days, then you have a maintenance phase after that where you take you know, four or five grams of creatine a day. Now you, you'll probably see that you're going to retain water because it does increase cellular hydration. However, uh, water is not a big deal, nor should it be to people unless you're really trying to stay you know, super sharp and lean for some reason. Uh, but if you're trying to increase your strength output, if you're trying to increase DHT levels, testosterone levels, uh, doing this kind of a loading phase followed by a maintenance phase is gonna have great effects. It's also recommended that after some time that you take a break uh, from consuming the creatine for about uh, you know, one to three weeks. Uh, a good way to do this is to do a loading phase, do a few weeks of maintenance, and then take a week or two off of the creatine before you cycle it again. Again, I recommend using uh, creatine monohydrate, like this uh, Gero Formulas one, this is a good one. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of different brands. I, I personally use this one, and uh, it's, you don't need to do anything fancy with the creatine. You don't need to take any kind of fancy um, marketer-driven creatine name, or, or uh, don't, don't buy into the hype that, that a lot of these, these uh, fitness bodybuilding supplement companies are putting out there in terms of, of their creatine is superior to creatine monohydrate. Really all the studies use creatine monohydrate and get great results. So you can just get something very simple. This one will last a really long time and uh, it'll give you a lot of great effects. It's something that your body naturally produces and uh, you can really get some good results in, in, the, in the gym and in your testosterone and DHT levels. Uh, rather quickly. As, as you noted, in these studies, they did it all in, in a period of, uh, they, the researchers saw the results in a period of seven days, uh, upwards of, you know, three weeks. So, uh, highly recommend creatine monohydrate, and I think you're going to see some great results. Thanks.